I met Tim Smolian, the, the love of my life, in August 1999. I'd been teaching uh, English and film at a community college, and I'd recently retired, and I was thinking that I was going to be living out my senior years alone. And voila, a man came into my life who I met accidentally in South Africa, in Cape Town, when I was traveling with friends. He then invited me to come back to America to see his country. And this was a most uh, wonderful experience and started a long, long journey of traveling back and forth because I was unable to get a residence visa here and could only enter on a tourist visa for six months at a time. We did this for eight years and um, then my health began to de uh, deteriorate. I have three chronic health issues which are not covered by Medicare, which I'm on as a senior citizen, and not covered overseas, so I was flying on my own, and I needed to be closer to my physicians, with whom I had regular appointments several times a year. Since we met, Edwin has had uh, a number of operations, and sometimes I have been out of the country, and Edwin has had to face some of his health issues alone. Uh, this is extremely worrying and very, very uneasy to cope with when I cannot be there and all we have is a telephone to connect with each other. I have um, what's called degenerative spine disease. I had to have several discs removed from my back and that recovery has now been almost a year. Um, when we realized that I was going to have to have such a long recovery, we applied for an extension to uh, Tim's visa and our local representative, Tim Bishop, from here on Long Island, representative in Washington, uh, took an interest in our case and ensured with the embassy in Washington that Tim's visa would be renewed. And that has allowed me to stay for one more year. It is renewable, but it, we don't know whether it will be renewed or not, so we have this uh, constant doubt in our lives whether I'm going to be able to stay here next year or whether I will have to leave. The thought of being separated is the most anxiety provoking things in our li lives. You can make extreme changes like changing nationality or places to live when you're in your 20s and 30s, but it's very hard to do it uh, as an older person, especially with medical needs. So we were given the opportunity to join a lawsuit against the federal government, uh, which will take place probably in the court in Brooklyn starting in September to challenge the government's policy and hopefully if that changes our lives will change. We've been living pretty consistently with what we like to call anticipatory grief. It's like you're expecting a death or something you know when we get pulled apart and we can't be with each other. So we need to lead normal lives that normal senior citizens live. Um, and not to have these constant disruptions in our life.